Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be um, a video where I talk about my Saturn return. Um, so that was an idea that one of my followers submitted to me when I was asking for video ideas. And one of you mentioned to talk about my Saturn return. So I thought that's a really, really good idea. <laughs> okay, so as you guys, if you, some of you may not know, but your Saturn return, okay, let's, Let's, let's just talk about the whole thing first. You have a birth chart, right? If you know the date that you were born, which obviously you should, because that's your birth date, the time you were born and the location where you were born, you will know your birth chart. You could look it up. There are free birth chart calculators if you simply Google it. Um, Astro.com or cafeastrology.com are my favorites. Plug in your information, look up your start, your, your birth chart. Um, in your birth chart, we have placements of the Sun, Moon, Venus, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, Pluto, um, Chiron, and um, other various asteroids and all of that. Your North Node, your South Node, um, your Midheaven, all of all of the above, right? And those placements are where the planets and asteroids and all of that were at the moment you were born. That is your birth chart. That never changes, right? What does change is every single day after you were born, those planets and asteroids and everything have been moving, right? They're moving and they go through each sign over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> well, Saturn goes around the entire zodiac i hope i don't like fuck this up but it'll go around the entire zodiac every 30 or so years if that makes sense right so your saturn return is i think it's every 30 years i'm pretty sure anyways <laughs> your saturn return is where saturn comes back to the exact point of your birth chart 30 years later, okay? So you will go through your Saturn return at least twice in your lifetime. When you turn 30, and then again when you turn 60. And if you're grateful and lucky, again when you turn 120. <laughs> no, 90, oh my God, I can't do math. So you could go through three times, bam. Um, and then the fourth time if you live to be like even more, but. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. Obviously math is not my strong suit. Um, and if my astrologers that watch my videos, if I'm fucking this up, please leave comments and clean, clean up my mess because I, I'm still learning. I'm still learning astrology. I'm not an astrologer. Um, okay. And so from my understanding is when Saturn comes back to your exact placement, it hovers there for a while. <laughs> Um, it's, it, it's, it's a, any time between like, usually they say 27 to 31 ish is like when you're in your Saturn return and your Saturn return can last, like I said, like three years or so. Um, and then it moves on, <laughs> it moves on. Um, yeah, about three, two, two to three years, because what do they say? It's, there's 12 Zodiacs. I see this is me like not knowing my math. Um, anyways, okay, let's just not get into that. <laughs> um, in this time, Saturn is all about transformation. Saturn will transform your life um, after it fucks it up. So the way I understood Saturn, let me get so cute here with my cards. I just got done teaching my tarot course, so I have my deck here. <laughs> but let's go into this. So... I see Saturn return as a big giant tarot card, the tower, okay? Saturn is about transformation, okay? It's it's about change, it's about stopping shit in your life to, re, to go through it, to learn lessons. It teaches you lessons, okay? Um, it, it does miraculous changes and transformations, but it has to fuck things up first too, okay? So usually, 
by the time you are in your Saturn return or have hit your Saturn return, you will have gone through something major in your lifetime, okay? Usually it's happening on the brink of it when you're starting and then by the time it's done, you will have gone through some major transformation in your life. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about my Saturn return, my experiences. I wasn't prepared to talk about the exact dates. I guess it doesn't really matter to you guys because I'm 33, <laughs> so I've already gone through my Saturn return. Um, and it happened in my, like, like I said, it's between 27 and 31. Okay. Sometime around there. Um, and <laughs> I want to say for me, it was 2015. I think it was 2015 that when I went through mine, um, but I could be wrong. So yeah, but 2015, I was four years I was 29 um so I believe it started in 2015 2014 2015 so I was 28 29 um so that's kind of around the ballpark where I'm going to talk about okay um so I went through a quarter life crisis at the age of 26 um no one believes it some people don't believe that that exists but it, it fucking exists and usually your quarter life crisis is starting when you were just before your Saturn return. <laughs> At least that's what I've like, my own experience had happened, right? So 26, 27, I was going through midlife crisis, my quarter life crisis. Um, I changed career. I, I really started to embark on my spiritual journey. Um, I, <laughs> I quit my job for one thing. I was, I was doing solely tarot at one point. Okay. That's a big one. Um, but I remember like when I was going through my quarter life crisis, I stopped, I was stopping that whole going to school for one thing and I was like changing my career altogether. And then I had my spiritual awakening and you guys know that whole story. But, um, I would say career wise, I went from full time, I, I went from part time to full time and then I went back to part time and then I went to not working at all and then back to part, part time. And that's what I'm doing now. So I was like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> like a little ping pong ball with my career. Um, and I feel like that's part of the, the Saturn return was I was lear learning heavy lessons with my, um, with my career, my path, you know, all of that. Um, it also, if you look at your birth chart, where Saturn is in your birth chart, it'll tell you a hell of a lot. And Saturn is actually in my seventh house. Um, it's my seventh house of Sagittarius and Saturn being in the seventh house, the seventh house is marriage. What that was like, that's like the main part of the seventh house is marriage. I got married in my Saturn return. So bam, like that's how, you know, like astrology is so legit because, <laughs> because of that. Um, so growing up, I was like the girl that wanted to get married when I was 21. Like I wanted to get married super young. I wanted to have babies before I was 25. I wanted that life, right? <laughs> and God was like, nope, you're not having that life. And I didn't have that life. I was literally like, I, I had no, I never had problems falling in love. Love came easy to me. Um, I met my husband when I was 21, but we didn't get, he didn't propose to me until I was 20, going to be 28. So my Saturn return, when I was starting the Saturn return, my cat died. Um, so that's one big thing. <laughs> Tigger, my cat Tigger, I had him since I was 10. He was 17, 18 years old. He passed away literally two months before my husband proposed to me. And I, well, now that I look back on that, I see that Tigger was literally passing the torch onto my husband <laughs> and I even told him that like when when that happened I was like Tigger totally passed the torch onto you he's like I can't take care of her anymore you take care of her now <laughs> and so my husband he laughed when I told him that because he's like you know what that kind of makes sense like like Tigger knew I was gonna propose to you and so it's like oh I'm done I can't take it anymore <laughs> Because Tigger went through, since I was 10 years old, Tigger went through every single heartbreak in my life. Tigger was there for every bro bro breakup, 
every crying session at night, he was there with me all of it. Tigger was like the manifestation of my emotions. Like he was the actual like physical being, my little sponge for my emotions and all of the shit I went through as a young girl. Um, he was through all of it. <laughs> and so he, um, he passed away literally two months before my husband proposed. And by the time my husband proposed to me, I had already been at my wits end. I had, I remember telling him like, if this is going to happen, it needs to happen. I'm tired of waiting. Like we had already been together eight years by the time he proposed. So he proposed, um, and we, I spent a whole year. You would think that I would jump on it and get married right away, but I didn't. I, I waited a whole year <laughs> and planned my wedding. So then in 2015, we got married and I was 29. Um, so 28, 29, Saturn return, big stuff, big stuff happening. My cat died. My, I was proposed to, I got married, right? The very tail end of my Saturn return. Okay, no, actually I'm getting ahead of myself. So then within 2015, within 2015 of my Saturn return, um, I got married. I moved out for the first time. I was a late bloomer with my husband. We were both late bloomers. Him and I both lived at home with our parents until we got married. That was the one and last and final wish I fulfilled for my parents and he fulfilled for his parents was to wait until we were married to move out. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have very, I have conservative, I have conservative family members and they do not believe in living together before marriage. Okay. They don't. Um, so I waited. I didn't move out. Um, at one point, my husband and I could afford it. We were able to afford an apartment together with the money we were making. But we waited till we were married to move out. <laughs> so I here I am getting married, moving out for the first time, and moving in with someone else for the first time. Those three things all together. It was the most dramatic, scary, crazy experience. Um, I think I went through a homesickness phase for two weeks. Um, I actually slept on my couch a couple times when we first moved out because I was so uncomfortable with sleeping next to him. Um, so having someone else in my bed, I was like, I had to get used to all of that. And I mean, it, it sounds silly, it sounds crazy because here I am like 29 and I was like having these issues, but it's because I never, I had never had to share my space with someone else. I never had to share my bed. I never had to, you know, go grocery shopping and like, you know what I mean? Like all of those things that like, I never worried about any of that because I lived at home. It was crazy. So <laughs> I had a lot of friends that moved out at a very young age. I have a lot of friends who were already living that life. I was a late bloomer. Um, and so <laughs> it was like learning all of that all together on top of being married and being a wife. It was hard. It was hard. The first couple months was hard. <laughs> we had some fights, like arguing, not fighting, fighting, but we had like arguments um, because we were both just getting used to having each other around 24 seven and having each other. Cause I got to tell you guys, like me and my husband, our relationship before that, we wouldn't see each other every day. He, my husband refused to see me every day because he wanted to keep things like fresh. So we wouldn't, I would go a day or two without seeing him. And, um, and then I would see him on the weekends and stuff, but we, we, he wouldn't, we would not see each other every day. We were not that kind of couple. <laughs> I wanted to be, but he would not. So I got used to it. I was used to going a couple days without seeing him and then seeing him. And it, it did. It made it exciting. But when we moved in together, it was like every fucking day I was seeing him. Um, so I had to get into the groove of being a wife. I had to get into the groove of going grocery shopping and budgeting and paying a rent that I've never had to pay before. So it was a lot of things that we were getting used to. And it was rough. It was hard. <laughs> but it was doable. Um, and I think what helped us was that because we were so 
like invested in each other. We had been together for eight years that it didn't, it wasn't crazy weird. It was like just getting used to each other's habits. Um, and so that was a big thing, a big transition, a big change that I went through. And then, um, what else happened? His career changed, but that was for him. That wasn't necessarily me. Um, I want to just say like 2015 was just a lot of that. I know the summer of 2015 was really dramatic for to the Tumblr community. There was a lot of, that was when I was getting a lot of um, online hate and, and all of that. Um, you really learn who your friends are, <laughs> your online friends. Um, and then 2016 was the tail end of my Saturn return. So my Saturn return probably would have ended already, but... I still include the 2016 of part of it because that was still um, like I was I turned 30. So 2016, yeah, 2016 I turned 30. <laughs> um, and that was when so turning 30 in itself is a big deal. Okay, you're out of your 20s. You know who you are. 30s, you know who you are. You're a whole different version of yourself from who you were when you were 20. Like, I'll just say, I, I love I love being in my 30s. So that was a big thing. That was like a big milestone. Um, and then my brother got sick, and that's when my brother died. So I lost my brother. That was the hugest, most biggest loss I've ever experienced. Um, I went into a lot of depression over that, and I did a big shift with my career after that. I had to leave. I left a workplace that I was in because I was having a lot of anxiety from my brother passing because I found out he passed when I was at work and so I just could never look at that place the same again. Um, so I would have a lot of panic attacks at work. I took off like two months and then I just, I, I ended up transferring to a different library because I, it was just like I needed that change. So my career started to change with that. Um, I took on a different position at work. I was just playing a different role. Um, and then, you know, going through the whole losing my brother. And I felt like during that experience of losing my brother, I went through another awakening with myself. My psychic abilities, psychic, I hate that word. But my, my intuitive abilities, my mediumship started to really bloom that year. Um, so I would say that that was probably the tail end transformation from my Saturn return. So Saturn return was rough. Um, it, it was rough. It was hard. I had, I experienced two losses, Tigger passing away and then my brother. Um, but I also experienced getting married and moving out for the first time. Um, so that was a beautiful exchange. So it was kind of like you have to do some sacrifices, but then you have some gains as well. Um, so I would have to say my Saturn return as difficult as it was in, in some parts. I learned a lot about myself as a human being. Um, I learned a lot about myself as an independent woman. I became much more independent than I was before. Um, and just growing into myself, turning 30, being married. It was everything that I wanted, but I was actually glad and grateful that it happened later on. Because like I said before, I was that girl that wanted to get married young and have babies young. <laughs> and that just didn't happen. Um, I still haven't had babies. I don't know if I'm going to. It just, if it happens, it happens. But I don't know. It may or may not. Um, but all I know is that that Saturn return was an amazing experience. It's scary. It's not easy. There are hard times. <laughs> so those of you guys who are curious about when your Saturn return is, you can look it up. There's a Saturn return calculator that you could plug everything in and it will tell you when your return is. Um, I'll try to find the link and I'll put it in the description box if I find it. So check it out. See if it's there. If it's not there, then I didn't find it. <laughs> but I think I'll be able to find it. Um, and yeah, so just know that your Saturn return comes with a lot of changes. Okay. Sometimes shit hits the fan, but it comes with beautiful changes and you learn and you grow and you evolve, but sometimes you have to go through lessons. Okay. So that's what I did. I went through some lessons, but the changes were worth it. Um, so the next time I go through my Saturn return will be when I'm in my sixties. Um, I don't know where the fuck I'm going to be in my sixties. <laughs> um, I think that I'll be hopefully like retired if I'm still working. I mean, I don't know. 
my husband might be the one working still. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna be happening. Maybe I'll be a grandma. Maybe I'll be a mom and like, I don't know. Maybe I'll be living in this amazing beach house that I always dreamed of. I don't know. But 30 years is a long way from now, so anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> anything can happen um but yeah Saturn return is crazy it's pretty cool so look your guys is up see what where what yours is um but like I was saying my my Saturn is in my seventh house and it's the house of relationships and so I really like that it was it, it taught me a lot about my relationships it taught me a lot about my relationship with my husband marriage was a big one a big one for my Saturn return that was the, the biggest thing that ever happened um but also my relationship with family because my family's my family relationships grew they got stronger after my brother passed away um I had a different respect for my parents after that so it sucks that it had to take a loss for that to happen but um it did bring me closer to my parents I spent a good few months with them grieving um, when I wasn't working, I was with them and I helped, I was helping my mom out with one of, with my step grandma, taking care of her. Um, and so we bonded, you know, so it was like a beautiful birth of something new that happened in replacement of losing someone we love. So it ha it, I feel like Saturn is like a double edged sword. So yeah. But that's my Saturn return story um, and my experiences. But yeah, you guys, if you want to look up yours, check the link in the description box. I'm going to try and put that up for you and you can see what yours is. Or if you've already gone through your Saturn return, comment below with, you know, what are some of the major experiences that you went through in your Saturn return and what did you learn about yourself from that process? Bye, love.